Oh, this old thing? Uh, it's just a little project. It's my dad's old car. Hasn't really run right since he left, so I said I'd try fix it up. Hopefully I can use it myself someday. What do you mean, since he left? Oh, my dad took off a while ago and hasn't come back since. Good riddance, I say. Left me with nothing but this old car and some pretty bad memories. It's just me and my mom now. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Oh no, don't be sorry. It is what it is. Cletus has been like a father to me since he left. He's such a good man. Such a big heart. Tell me about it. I don't know what I would have done if he hadn't taken me in. And how exactly did it come about that you're going to be staying here with Cletus and his family? If you don't mind me asking, that is. Oh, uh, well, um, it's kind of a long story, to be honest. I don't know if you noticed, but time is something we have around here to spare. I don't mind listening. Um, uh, uh, oh, is that the time? I have to run for my dinner. I don't want to keep the family waiting. Maybe we could catch up again tomorrow? I mean, if you'd like that. You don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> of course I do. That sounds great. I'll see you tomorrow, Katie. Enjoy your dinner. Wait, actually, before you go, why don't we go for dinner tomorrow and you can tell me your big long story there? You want to go for dinner with me? Of course, why wouldn't I? Haven't you ever been asked to dinner before? I really don't know, uh, but yeah, that sounds great. I'd love that. Perfect. Say, eight o'clock? Awesome. See you then, Sam. Bye, Katie. CJ. Well, what was that all about? What do you mean? You were giggling and laughing over there with Sam. What did he say to you? Oh, Sam asked me to dinner, and I'm so excited. What? Sam asked you to dinner, but I thought we were meant to be friends. Why do you have to go to dinner with Sam anyway? What? We are friends, CJ. Hey, you two. Katie, how did you get on with Sam? Did you do hit it off? Well, yeah, it actually went really well. Sam asked me to go to dinner with him. He did? Yeah, I mean, if that's okay with you, Cletus. Of course it's okay with me, silly. Why wouldn't it be? All you need now is something nice to wear. Oh, no, it's okay. I can just wear this. I don't have any money anyway. Don't be crazy. I'll give you money. It'll be nice for you to go and pick something nice to wear. I can tell you like this guy. Like him? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> don't be getting all shy on me now. There's a store not far from here. You should go before it closes. Okay, I will. Thank you, Cletus. Anytime. Now go. Hello, welcome to Wadland's Clothes Store. How can I help you today? Hey there, I'm actually looking for a dress to wear for tonight. I have a date. A date? That sounds lovely. Well, all our dresses are out on the rails. If you can't find anything you like, let me know and I'll help you pick something. Okay, thanks. something you like yeah I really like the red dress you have on display I think I'll get that uh, how much is it uh, I only have $30 it's your lucky day it's on sale and it's only $22 so that should leave you enough money for your big day tonight oh that's great news thank you so much 
Anytime. See you later and good luck. So, Katie, how did you get on? Did you find something nice to wear? I did. I found the perfect dress in that store. I love it. Thank you so much, Cletus. You just made this date so much better. Don't worry. I'm happy to do it. So, do you still have some money for dinner, or do you need some more? Yeah, the dress is on sale, so I still have enough. Great. But knowing Sam, he'll probably pay for you. He's such a nice kid with a great heart. I'm glad you two are hitting it off. I just knew you would. Yeah, I guess you're right. He seems like a really nice guy. Let's just see how tonight goes. I'm sure we'll know a lot more about each other after our first date. Yeah, first dates are very important, all right. Now, Katie, you better go. You don't want to be late. Looks like I'm going to have my hands full with these two. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure it doesn't work out between them. looks really nice. Yeah, it really is. I've come here a few times. Food is amazing. So, Katie, you never really got the chance to tell me the full story of how you ended up staying with Cletus. Are you a relation of his or something? No, we're not related. It's really difficult to explain. You see, I don't remember anything. And when I say anything, I mean nothing at all. All I remember is waking up in a really strange place and then I ran. And I didn't stop running until I came across the trailer park. And that's when I met Cletus. Whoa, that really isn't an easy one to explain, is it? And I know there's not much more explaining to do seems as how you don't have your memory. But don't worry, Katie, it will come back. You can't just get rid of it. It's in there somewhere. And I'm sure you'll find it. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to try to get my old memories back. I'm kind of liking the new memories. But what if you had a family or a boyfriend? I know, but the way I see it, if they were really that important to me, then why wouldn't I remember them? I mean, it's been a week. I suppose you're right. Good evening. Are you both ready to order? We sure are. I'm starved. Great. So what can I get for you? Well, to start, I'll have the garlic bread, and for main course, I want the rack of ribs with the smoked barbecue sauce and some... Thank you so much for tonight, Sam. I really had a great time. It was my pleasure. Uh, Would you maybe want to do it again sometime? Are you kidding? Of course I would. I really mean it when I said I had a blast. I've never been on a date before, or at least I can't remember if I have. To be honest, this was my first date too, and I can remember that I haven't been asked on one before. Well, look, it is late. You should probably head inside, Katie. I don't want Cletus getting mad at me for keeping you out so late. (laughs) I don't think Cletus would ever get angry at you. He likes you a lot. You're right, though. It's getting late. I'll see you tomorrow. You can count on it. Good night, Katie. Good night, Sam. She is awesome. I can't wait to see her tomorrow. I wonder who she really was before she lost her memory. Some amazing person, I guess. Oh well, she's here now, and that's all that matters to me.